a very warm welcome thank you for joining me today give me a yes if you would like to be an entrepreneur good to see now raise your hands if you know what entrepreneurship truly means okay see some hands coming up i've got some work to do there now uh, one more question is the last one uh raise your hands if you know what dementia means when it comes to healthcare or neurology in general i tell people i have not done any degree but i've gone through a degree in dementia suffering there comes a term again dementia what is it exactly i am from an engineering background but why on earth would i mention dementia well my father's a dementia patient and the challenges my mother and i faced led me to this field he is a mathematician and in the past he was a professor of mathematics the challenges or should i say the opportunities i faced made me commit to tele neurology in dementia full time with complete devotion my mother insisted i face the problem and not run away from it so i did the same literally and figuratively well that is fine but what is dementia dementia is an umbrella term for several diseases impacting memory other cognitive abilities and behavior that can significantly impact person's ability to maintain their activities of daily living guess what the deterioration is gradual and sadly the worst part no cure the capacity of brain cells to repair and regenerate themselves over a period of time unlike other organ cells is quite limited as a result in dementia the nerve cells keep dying out gradually and new cells are not able to regenerate themselves to maintain the pace this is termed as atrophy in india there are more than 5 million dementia patients unfortunately and globally this number is said to be more than 50 million well uh the functioning of the brain can be compared to that of cpu although it's a lot more complicated in dementia from moderate to severe stages of course depending on the type and stage people are unable to walk talk follow instructions or function properly so we can see in activities of daily living and usually need a caregiver to help them out almost always what exactly are the challenges associated with the dementia community one reaching out to the correct type of doctor two knowing the exact type and stage of dementia three monitoring the progression of dementia periodically fundamentally four knowing the exact type of exercises that are needed and suitable to each kind of patient five other associated challenges specifically around loneliness social isolation unbelievable emotional uh, burden on the caregivers while seeing a loved ones in this state around caregivers the burden is tremendous it's huge there is no certainty on the amount of planning that is needed around family finances among other types of planning to put things into perspective after my engineering in 2018 i spent around 6 dedicated months with my father as he was entering the severe stages of dementia 
believe me, the world turned upside down for me. I was specifically practicing how to remain composed in the toughest of times. The good thing I believe I did is I kept track of what happened with his symptoms, incidences, situations, which helped me better explain my situation, uh, his situation, my and his as both as well, to the doctor and better understand how things were progressing. Neuroscience, many believe, is not that straightforward as it deals with neurons and neural circuits which are seemingly complicated to process. Coming to dementia again, as recommended by World Health Organization among other top neurology or mental health organizations, the goal should be in a way to detect and diagnose dementia as early as possible. Then with appropriate treatment, even if there is no cure, we can delay the progression to a good extent. On a high level, whatever the stage was about to be, let's say after four years, that stage relative to the symptoms can be delayed. So what are we doing? In a way, we are adding valuable years to the lives of the patient, even if there's no cure. Caregivers, I would say, are the pillars for the patients in the battle with dementia. Now, imagine a person who is barely able to walk, talk, bathe, or do almost anything on his or her own and usually needs a caregiver almost 24 by 7. Think about it. Who would be practically responsible? And who would be dealing with him or her most of the time? Caregivers, right? Caregivers need to know what's happening with the patients as well as family members and act accordingly. We already saw caregiver burden as a major challenge a while ago. On that front, it's vital to be connected to the ecosystem of caregivers. That brings me to my first point. We are trying to come up with a network of caregivers to help the community. So being a dementia caregiver, the first and foremost step is to build a support system around ourselves and be a part of the caregiver network. I mentioned how early detection of dementia can in a way help in saving valuable years in the lives of the patient. Now let's look at the importance of physiotherapy exercises. Multiple functional tasks need to be done repeatedly, which the users usually lose control over. Based on a detailed neurological assessment, we can tailor them towards appropriate exercises. Be it muscle strengthening, balance workouts, mobility, or even routine tasks such as getting and sitting up from a chair. Mind you, these are not easy for them, even though they might appear spontaneous to us. From chair, uh, physiotherapy, specifically neuro rehabilitation, is to the rescue. All this relates to me being passionate about technology to solve real life problems and spread awareness about dementia. Now comes the interesting part technology.
through technology talking about technology the central goal is to visualize progression of dementia how the disease is progressing moving on over a period of time through neuropsychological and advanced cognitive batteries we help the doctors and healthcare professionals treat dementia better this project i'm talking about started off as a digitized cognitive test and is now being seen as a comprehensive end to end one stop solution well our team constantly motivates me to be better and brings out the best version of me with the recent advances in deep learning talking about artificial intelligence specifically in this domain the first and foremost thing to remember is healthcare data is super sensitive and we need to make sure the entire architecture is encrypted end to end further the data needs to be kept absolutely confidential and anonymous at all times coming to electronic health records we aggregate everything with neuropsychological assessment batteries what are they neuropsychological assessment batteries can be thought of as cognitive tests that assess the five domains of cognition attention language memory spatial and executive functions pose this through exhaustive analysis we try and understand the patterns of cognitive decline which is quite generic as we know different parts of the brain are responsible for different functions the part of the body which is hampered can correspond to the part of the brain which is impaired based on this through our platform we can to a good extent determine which part of the brain is impaired a thing to note here is all this is being done in the presence of specialized doctors now through technology we can provide the entire ecosystem with far more insights in less amount of time considering all this and the fact that detailed neurological assessment is the key we are working on a tele neurology project in which we are trying to develop with a one stop solution in the entire dementia ecosystem in other words it helps in the screening as well as diagnosis of dementia to conclude any healthcare innovation should be sustainable that is something which is deeply rooted in our team as well as the product what i would like to say or rather request is never give up and observe your problems keenly they may not be opportunities or they may be opportunities thank you